15 Things You Didn't Know About Kristen Stewart. Number 15, International Success. Although many people are familiar with Kristen Stewart roles in American films, such as the Twilight series, she also worked on films outside of the United States. She appeared in The Cloud of Souls Maria, which was filmed in Switzerland and also featured Juliette Binoche and Chloe Grace Moretz. In the film, Kristen's character is Binoche's character's assistant, and they wind up in an intimate relationship. The film is considered a French-German-Swiss co-production and was presented at the 2014 Cannes Film Festival and the Toronto International Film Festival. In February 2015, Kristen won the Caesar Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the film. This made her the first American to be nominated for a Caesar Award in 30 years and the first American to ever win. Number 14, Short Film Director. Kristen Stewart was raised by parents who were both involved with film. Her father is a producer and her mother is a script supervisor. Since she was nine years old, she aspired to be a director, even though she became an actress. This summer, Kristen announced that she is directing her first short film. The film is called Come Swim and is based on a poem she wrote several years ago that developed into a story. She would not disclose the budget for her film, but she did reveal that her friend will play the starring role. Her friend is not an actor and his last name was not publicly disclosed. Come Swim is being created for Refineries 29's Shutterbox Anthology, which will also include films from 11 other female filmmakers. Number 13, Lizzie Borden Project. Kristen is set to appear in a film based on an infamous murder trial. Lizzie Borden was an axe murderer who was acquitted for her father and stepmother's murders in 1892. In the upcoming biopic, Kristen will play the live-in maid for the Borden family. Her character, Bridget Sullivan, is also a key witness to the murders. The project is currently entitled, features several other recognizable names. Number 12, Proud of Twilight. In an interview with author Patti Smith for Interview Magazine, Kristen talked about how proud she was of her work in the Twilight films. She received criticism for her role, including being asked if she was ready to take on real serious assignments. Although she understands why people would dislike the franchise, she told Smith that she was very fond of her memories working on the films. She also noted that every film she's worked on contributed to her personal growth, and that includes the Twilight films. Starting at 17, Kristen portrayed Bella Swan in all five Twilight films, which were based on the four books from the popular book series by the same name. Number 11, Bisexual. Kristen Stewart was in a highly publicized relationship with her co-star Robert Pattinson while the Twilight films were popular. She went on to date Alicia Cargile, a visual effects producer. She wasn't fond of discussing her private life before she started dating women, but then decided that her acknowledgement of her sexuality could have a positive impact. Kristen is still trying to figure out what parts of her personal life are worth sharing with fans and what should be kept private. Number 10, Struggles with Anxiety. Since she was younger, Kristen struggled with some level of anxiety. She recalls how she felt at the premiere of her first major film, Panic Room. During a photo shoot, a photographer asked her to calm down, but she couldn't even unclench her fists. Kristen claims that she's always had high-functioning adrenal glands. Now she writes poetry and paints, which calms her down. Although she has not discussed it in great detail, she also dealt with ADHD. Number 9. In the Buff Kristen appeared in a French indie film called Personal Shopper, which was directed by Oliver Asasias. She noted that the director didn't acknowledge her nude scenes as different from any other scenes in the film. Although she doesn't have an issue with performing without clothes, she thinks Americans don't appreciate it as much as the French do. Kristen explains that nudity could add strength to a character by literally and metaphorically making their whole selves visible. In particular, she felt that her scene in Personal Shopper shows how lonely her character is because she's actually talking to a fake person on the phone. Number Number 8. Fan-Fueled Relationship Much to the delight of Twilight fans around the world, Kristen Stewart dated her co-star Robert Pattinson for some time. Their relationship began in 2008, but was not publicized until 2010. Robert played Edward Cullen, a vampire who was drawn to Bella Swan, played by Kristen Stewart, a typical human in high school. Kristen felt as though her relationship was being turned into a product that was sold by the media because the fans wanted her to be dating Robert that much. However, her intention is to present herself as she actually is, regardless of what the public wants wants to see or hear. Number 7. Jewels for Sale the engagement ring that Kristen Stewart wore in the Twilight films was sold for $16,800 at an auction. Over 900 original props from the film series were auctioned at the TCL Chinese Theater in Hollywood, but this ring is sentimental to fans of the Twilight series. Given that the Twilight movie franchise grossed over $500 million, the fan that purchased the ring got quite the deal. Number 6. 
in her closet. Kristen Stewart owns three of the same jackets in her closet. Her Balenciaga quilted biker jackets are valued at 1,625 euros, and she owns them in red, black, and yellow. She is also the face of Balenciaga's fragrance. One thing you won't find in her closet, however, is a pair of heels. Even though she would prefer to be taller, she won't wear heels. She has talked about how she likes the look of black, slouchy trousers on women. Number 5. Dreaming of Japan Japan is Kristen's favorite place in the world. Specifically, she likes the Japanese lifestyle and people. As she told MTV, she thinks the Japanese people know how to live, and she's never dealt with anyone in Japan whom she'd had a strange, uncomfortable, disrespectful thing with. Number 4. Also a Musician as it turns out, Kristen Stewart can also sing. She was discovered when she was 8 years old while she was performing in a school play. When she portrayed Joan Jett in The Runaways, she recorded some vocal tracks to be used in the movie. She also sang on the soundtrack for Into the Wild. Her favorite song is actually a Joan Jett song, Love is Pain. In addition, she plays the acoustic and electric guitar, as well as the trumpet. In the film Into the Wild, Kristen played the guitar. Some of her favorite artists include Green Day, Led Zeppelin, Nirvana, The Beatles, and U2. Number 3. Half Australian Kristen's mother is an Australian script supervisor, making Kristen half Australian. Jules Mann Stewart is from Maroochydore, Queensland, which is in Australia. Her Australian heritage influenced the name of her border collie, Oz, and one of her favorite places to visit, Noosa Heads, located in Queensland. Number 2. Before before Twilight. When she was starting out, Kristen Stewart was an extra in films that her parents were involved with. She played an uncredited extra in The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas and also had a small, non-speaking part in the Disney Channel film The 13th Year. Kristen appeared in the film Panic Room with Jodie Foster in 2002. Her role in that film earned her the Young Artist Award. After that, she was cast in a thriller in 2003 called Cold Creek Manor. She also starred alongside Corbin Blue in the 2004 action comedy Catch That Kid. At the age of 13, she played Melinda Sordini in the movie Speak, which is based on the book by Lori Halls Anderson. In the film, Kristen plays a freshman in high school who is raped and then silenced by her peers. The New York Times praised her for her ability to capture the struggle of her character through her acting. Following those successes, she went on to perform in Zathora in 2005, Fierce People in 2006, and In the Land of the Women in 2007. Number 1. Pole Dancing Kristen learned how to pole dance for her role in the 2010 movie Welcome to the Rileys, in which she plays a stripper who is cared for by James Gandolfini of The Sopranos fame. In order to prepare for her role, she visited a strip club in New Orleans, where she practiced for two weeks, including dancing on their bar. To get into the character, she ate poorly, smoked a lot, and stayed out of the sun. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Fifteen things you didn't know about Kristen Stewart. Number fifteen: international success. Although many people are familiar with Kristen Stewart roles in American films such as the Twilight series, she also worked on films outside of the United States. She appeared in The Cloud of Souls Maria, which was filmed in Switzerland and also featured Juliette Binoche and Chloe Grace Moretz. In the film, Kristen's character is Binoche's character's assistants, and they wind up in an intimate relationship. The film is considered a French-German-Swiss co-production and was presented at the 2014 Cannes Film Festival and the Toronto International Film Festival. In February 2015, Kristen won the Caesar Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the film. This made her the first American to be nominated for a Caesar Award in 30 years and the first American to ever win. Number 14. Short Film Director Kristen Stewart was raised by parents who were both involved with film. Her father is a producer and her mother is a script supervisor. Since she was 9 years old, she aspired to be a director, even though she became an actress. This summer, Kristen announced that she is directing her first short film. The film is called Come Swim and is based on a poem she wrote several years ago that developed into a story. She would not disclose the budget for her film, but she did reveal that her friend will play the starring role. Her friend is not an actor and his last name was not publicly disclosed. Come Swim is being created for Refineries 29's Shutterbox Anthology, which will also include films from 11 other female filmmakers. Number 13. Lizzie Borden Project Kristen is set to appear in a film based Based on an infamous murder trial. Lizzie Borden was an axe murderer who was acquitted for her father and stepmother's murders in 1892. In the upcoming biopic, Kristen will play the live in maid for the Borden family. Her character, Bridget Sullivan, is also a key witness to the murders. The project is currently entitled, features several other recognizable names. Number 12. Proud of Twilight 
In an interview with author Patti Smith for Interview Magazine, Kristen talked about how proud she was of her work in the Twilight films. She received criticism for her role, including being asked if she was ready to take on real serious assignments. Although she understands why people would dislike the franchise, she told Smith that she was very fond of her memories working on the films. She also noted that every film she's worked on contributed to her personal growth, and that includes the Twilight films. Starting at 17, Kristen portrayed Bella Swan in all five Twilight films, which were based on the four books from the popular book series by the same name. Number 11. Bisexual. Kristen Stewart was in a highly publicized relationship with her co-star Robert Pattinson while the Twilight films were popular. She went on to date Alicia Cargile, a visual effects producer. She was not fond of discussing her private life before she started dating women, but then decided that her acknowledgement of her sexuality could have a positive impact. Kristen is still trying to figure out what parts of her personal life are worth sharing with fans, and what should be 